call on Jennifer Boylan from Moms Demand Action to come forward. Thank you. Today, the Rhode Island chapter of Moms Demand Action is so very proud to stand with Governor Raimondo as she becomes the first governor after the Parkland school shooting to sign an executive order to establish red flag policy. Thank you, Governor. Thank you, Governor, for acting immediately and prioritizing a common sense gun policy that will save lives and by doing so, encourage other states to follow your lead. I joined this movement in January 2013 after 20 school children and six staff members were shot in Sandy Hook. The more I learned about our country's gun, lax gun laws, the more reasons I found to speak up and take action. On an average day, 96 Americans are shot and killed, including seven children and teens. In an average month, 50 women are shot to death by an intimate partner. Black men are 13 more times more likely to be shot and killed than white men. And today, after the tragic shooting in Parkland, there are 17 more reasons why I showed up today. Once again, an entire community has been rocked by gun violence. We don't deserve to live like this, and our children don't deserve to die like this. The young voices of students from the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School have said it in the last week better than many of us ever could. We need more than thoughts and prayers from our elected leaders. We need action. We need them to pass laws and enact policies that will save lives, like the red flag policy Governor Raimondo is establishing today and the General Assembly should prioritize tomorrow. <laughs> Mass shooters like the one in Parkland often display warning signs before com committing violent acts. He had threatened students, had been expelled from school, and his mother had reportedly called the police numerous times concerned about his behavior. When a person is a danger to his or herself, or others, loved ones, and law enforcement are often the first to see the signs that they pose a threat. Red flag laws empower families to alert law enforcement and the courts about indicators that a person who may be a danger to themselves or others so actions can be taken to temporarily block people who may pose a serious threat from having firearms. Five states have passed red flag laws, and at least 18 other states, including Florida and our neighbors in Massachusetts, are currently considering similar bills. <coughs> red flag laws and policies at the state level can help keep this from happening to even more <coughs> families. Today we say thank you to Governor Raimondo for standing for gun sense in Rhode Island. And tomorrow we will continue to echo the governor's call on the legislature to act swiftly with a bill to establish an extreme risk protection order to make Rhode Island's red flag law one of the strongest and the smartest. The country is watching. Our children are watching. And the governor's leadership is an example. We hope that other states will follow. Thank you.